let's look at the photos or album application in the Nokia C7. There are several good things about this application and some things that are fairly strange. Photos is on one of these first three screens that are default for this smartphone. And when I open the Photos application down here with this nice icon, I get all items, all photos, some albums and some tags. I don't care much about the albums, so I'll just go straight into Photos. And there are several good things in here. The first good thing about this application is that the newest photos are here on the top. Based on the user surveys that I have done, I've learned that very often the most interesting content will be the newest content. Unless it's music, where some other rules apply according to playlists, mood, what do I know. So it's fine that the default uh, sorting method for pictures are newest in the top. Another fine thing is that I can take the scroll bar up here. And I have this big marker in the middle of the screen to tell me when the pictures have been uh, taken. So it's all very nice. Um, under options will give me some options that I don't really care about here. Um, so I'll just quit those. If I need to mark some pictures, well, I can either go into mark all, which marks 550 pictures, or I can press the mark um, icon down here. I don't really feel that this is a perfect uh, icon for marking, but it works as such. And then you can do whatever, delete uh, the market items. I can also share the market items uh, if I press the share icon over here. Well, it's too many. Um, and this will give me option for a slideshow. And this actually reminds me of a PowerPoint slideshow, so it works quite fine. But where the problems start is when I open the picture. Let's have a photo here of this hotel in Denmark. So what do you think that you as a user can do with this image? Well, according to the design of this, you can't do much. I'd like to show you some of the movements that I've tried in order to figure out how this works. I can drag it such as this with no result. I can drag this way with no result. I can drag other ways with no result. I can try to scroll up from the, from the corners or something with no result. I cannot switch between my pictures. This is like a photo frame and nothing else. If I switch, if I turn the phone, the photo frame will be bigger, but that's all that's to it. But if I use two fingers, I suddenly have options for moving the image. I fail to understand why the user needs to use two fingers. Maybe it's an idea that the user wants to grab the picture. Um, but I cannot understand why I can't do things such as moving the picture, moving from one picture to the other by, by these touches, these dragging motions. Why do I need to take both my fingers, to use both my fingers? So based on these first experiences, it seems like the functionality is very, very limited. Also, I don't know how to go back. There is no back button or anything here. Um, I'm not sure where. There's nothing that I can do. Or so it seems. Because, I'm going to be honest here, I've succeeded a few times in bringing up some, some icons on top of this. I'll just display what it could be like. It's similar to if I go into um, the camera, which is hidden under applications here. Then you'll have some uh, overlay stuff here in the corners. There are similar functionalities in the photo application, but I don't know how to get to them. So I can do nothing here. And, ah, yeah. So I'm not sure which motion I used here in order to get these. These icons are... So maybe I should rewind the tape 
and figure out the motion that I did. But Okay, so there's something again, I'm not sure what I did. There's no natural motion for me, there's no natural movement of the screen. that brings up these icons and this functionality. So the functionality is that I can go back as I wish, I can share the image, I can delete the image, and I can zoom the image as well, but I don't know how to get to it. The only thing I can do in this, I, until I learn this specific method, so I should do like... This doesn't make sense. So the only things I can do until I learn this method, which obviously isn't a natural movement for me, is to go so why did it do this? I, I don't know. It's not long pressing, it's not two fingers, it's not... It's some kind of... Honestly, it cannot be... No, it wasn't. So this is my experience with the Photos application in this Nokia C7. I don't know how to get to the functionality that I need in order to work with each picture. There's no natural motion for me in the interface that brings up these icons. And I'm very annoyed by the fact that I sometimes get some functionality and sometimes I don't. So if you're sitting out there and you know how this functionality should be brought to the interface, post a comment or similar because I honestly don't know it so far. I've only accessed the functionality by sheer dumb luck while fumbling around like this, not knowing anything about what I'm doing. The functionality in the folders here, or the main folder, is fairly obvious. Even though I don't get this icon straight away, it's fairly easy to use once I know that I should press here in order to mark. So overall the functionality in the folder here is great. It's been sorted in a manner that fits the user needs. You can see what you can do under options, there's a normal Nokia consistency with options in back, and you can see that this sharing function is grayed out so you cannot use it before you mark a picture, and then you can share somehow. But the functionality in the folder with the collection of photos is not enough to save this application from being highly annoying, simply based on the fact that it's not consistent with the rest of the interface when it comes to dragging and moving, and the fact that I don't know how to access the functionality that I know is hidden here somewhere, only I don't know how to get to it.